Hello, it's Guy Hargreaves here again with another how-to video with my friends from Creative Scene in Yorkshire. Uh, yes, today it is Tuesday the 12th of May 2020 uh, and of all the how-to videos I've made I've really enjoyed getting ready for this one preparing and thinking about the things that I wanted to share with you. I've been thinking a lot in the last few days about the space in between us. Uh, so things that contact and things that uh, are spread out. And um, that's what I wanted to make a how-to video about. So I'm gonna make a video on how to make a jigsaw puzzle where the pieces don't quite fit together, they don't touch, and yet they all make sense. What we will need is some scrap paper, or if you can get an old cereal box, that would be great, because the paper in this is a bit thicker and it might last a bit longer for your make, the thing that you make, so you can play with it a bit longer. Uh, a pair of scissors, that would be great. And we might need a grown-up to help us with the scissors for this one. A lot of it you'll be able to do yourself, but there might be a, an odd, tricky bit where you could ask for a grown-up's help. Uh, and something like a felt tip. I've got a big felt tip there. Uh, and that's just so I can show you really quickly. But it's fine if you've just got a pencil or a normal size felt tip or a, a drawing pencil. All right, I'll see you in the other room. I said I was excited about sharing this make with you because it involved a lot of cutting out and uh, I've always liked cutting out. When I was a little boy, my mum and dad used to call me the phantom cutter upper Because, I mean, even when I wasn't making things, I was just grabbing hold of a pair of scissors and uh, just cutting paper up into Confetti, maybe that's what I wanted to do, just make my own small confetti factory. Yeah, so um, doing this one, uh, I've enjoyed it a lot. Okay, another sort of inspiration is I remember from being a child seeing this optical illusion in a book. Uh, and uh, I loved it because I realised I wasn't reading the word hello, H-E-L-L-O. I was sort of reading or seeing the bits in between the letters and we are going to make a puzzle of that. Um, actually, because it'll be a bit quicker, I'm going to pretend that I've drawn that onto my cereal box, uh, which I'll put on the one side and I'm just going to cut those bits out. I'll try and do it so you can see. Yes, this is probably a moment where we'll go to fast forward. I don't know, what do you think? So this bit, we might want to see, it's, uh, this is one of the tricky bits I was talking. The rest of it's been fairly simple to cut out, but the inside of that O in our jigsaw puzzle, that's not a jigsaw puzzle. It's quite difficult because how do you get into it? How do you kind of get into it? So what I would suggest is that you or a grown up folds it into more or less half and then you can very carefully cut the center of that out like that. And then you've got the middle there. And you've got your O there. So that's a sort of jigsaw puzzle that's not a jigsaw puzzle. If you're not that interested in letters, some people are not. 
I mean, I, I prefer pictures really, although I do love getting letters through the post, is that you might want to do a drawing that could be a jigsaw puzzle where the pieces don't quite fit, but it still makes sense. Uh, and I thought I'd have a go at this. And an example that I could use would be, let's say a hand or two hands that are not touching. That might make a nice puzzle. So, cue fast forward. If I could talk to you doing this, I would, but I'm just having to really concentrate and imagine the space in between two hands. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep concentrating. I think I'm gonna just quickly color this in. You don't need to do that, but it might just, so the puzzle looks a bit clearer. This is where I discover all my felt tips are running out. I think we'll be okay, just about. We're gonna get away with it. I was just counting the fingers. Now, so that's the sort of base for it. I realize I've made a mistake on it, but it doesn't matter because when I cut out the pieces of the puzzle, then you won't see them. So, another fast forward. I mean, maybe, even fast forward is not interesting enough. Maybe a jump cut might be necessary at this moment. Get in there. That's a puzzle where the pieces don't touch and yet they make sense. Another really good one, which I really like is the candlestick, which is also a two faces. Good luck with your jigsaw puzzle that isn't a jigsaw puzzle thing. See you later.